Hi, this is Wendy Lightheart. In this lesson, we're going to learn about graphing linear equations in two variables. When we graph linear equations in two variables, we use what's called the rectangular coordinate system. In the rectangular coordinate system, the horizontal number line is the x-axis. So that's the axis that goes left and right. The vertical number line is the y-axis. This is the axis that goes up and down. The point of intersection of these axes is called the origin. And the origin would be labeled with the ordered pair 0, comma, 0. Now an ordered pair is the way that you can label or name a point on the rectangular coordinate system. The first number is always the x-coordinate and the second number is always the y-coordinate. So looking at this regular rectangular coordinate system, every point to the right of the y-axis have positive x values. And every point to the left of the y-axis have negative x values. Every point above the x-axis will have positive y values, no matter where you are above the x-axis. And the below the x-axis, those points all have negative y values. So let's use that information to plot some points. So remember that each point can be labeled or named with what we call an ordered pair, where the first number is always the x-coordinate, and the second number is always the y-coordinate. So here's some points that we're going to plot on this rectangular coordinate system. The first point is 2, 4. So the first number remembers the x-coordinate, so that's going to tell you how far to go right or left, and you're always starting at the origin. So a positive 2 would tell us to go right 2 units. The second coordinate, the y-coordinate, always tells you how far to go up or down. So since it's a positive 4, we're going to go up 4 units. So right 2 and up 4 gets us to the point 2, 4. The next point, negative 3, 5, has a negative x-coordinate, which means we start at the origin and then we're going to go left 3 units. The positive 5 is a y-coordinate, tells us to go up 5 from there, and there's our point, negative 3, 5. Our third point is 1, negative 4. So a positive 1 tells us to go right 1 from the origin, and then negative 4 is our second coordinate, tells us from there go down 4 units. So just remember that the first number tells you how far to go left or right. Positive is right, negative is left. And the second number tells you how far to go up or down from there. And a positive number would tell you to go up, and a negative number tells you to go down. Okay, so our next point is negative 2, negative 3. So that means we'd start at the origin and go left 2 and down 3, which would get us right there. Now the last two points are special kind of points because they have some zeros as coordinates. If the first coordinate is 0, that means when we start at the origin, we're not going to go left or right. We're going to stay right in the center on the y-axis. And then the second coordinate is 3, so that means we would go up 3 units on the y-axis. Then our last point, negative 4, 0, tells us that we would first go left 4, and then because the y-coordinate is 0, we do not go up or down from there. We just stay right there on the x-axis. Okay, so we're going to be graphing these linear equations by plotting points. So it's really important that you understand how to plot these points correctly so that you can have 
a correct graph for your equation. So let's talk about what does it mean to have a graph of, of an equation. The graph of an equation in x and y is the collection of all points, we'll call it a, b, such that when a is plugged into the equation in place of x and b is plugged in for y, the equation becomes a true statement. So of course a and b are going to be numbers whenever we're testing this. So in other words, the line is the collection or the graph of the equation, which in this case for linear equations will always give us a line. It is the collection of all points that are solutions to the equation. So here is a line that's already been graphed for us and here's the equation for that line. So remember that the line is really the collection of all the s possible solutions to the equation. So here's a point on the line. This is the point 7, 9. So remember to be on the line that means it must be a solution to the equation. So let's, let's verify that. Here's our equation and we replace x with 7 and y with 9 and we check to see if this is true. So we simplify and we end up with the question is 9 equal to 9? Well of course it is. So this is a true statement when we replace the x with 7 and the y with 9. This means it is a solution which is what we expected because the point is on the line. Now here's a point that's not on the line. Negative 3, 2. So if we plug negative 3 in place of x and 2 in place of y, we should expect a false statement. So let's just verify that. So we, again we replace x with negative 3 because that's the first coordinate. We replace y with 2 and then we simplify and it boils down to the question, is 2 equal to negative 11? Well of course not, this is false. Which means that that point is not a solution. And we already knew that because it's not on the line. So just keep in mind, it's a really important concept to keep in mind, that when you graph an equation, it's simply the collection of all ordered pairs that are solutions to that equation. Okay, let's graph the equation y equals negative 3x plus 4. And we really only need two points to, to graph a line, but it's always best to find more than that if you can. So we're going to start by finding five ordered pairs that are solutions to the equation. And we're going to organize those ordered pairs in a table. So what we do is we pick some x values to plug in and then we have to figure out what would the y coordinate have to be for each of those x coordinates so that we'd have an ordered pair that's a solution to the equation. Now you can really pick whatever x values you want to plug in. I usually like to plug a couple negative numbers in, a couple positive numbers in, and then zero is always an easy number to work with, so I also plug in zero. So I'm going to plug in negative two, negative one, zero, one, and then two. So here we go. We plug in negative two in place of x into the equation. You see how that works? And now if we simplify the right side, this will tell us what y has to be equal when x is equal to negative 2. So we simplify and we get 10. So when x is negative 2, y is 10. So that gives us the ordered pair negative 2, 10. Now we plug in x equals negative 1. And we simplify until we get 7 as our y coordinate. So when x is negative 1, y is 7. So that gives us the ordered pair negative 1, 7. Next we plug in 0 for x. And we simplify and we see that this gives us 4. So when x is 0, y must be 4. And so that gives us the ordered pair 0, 4. Next we plug in 1 in place of x. 
and then we simplify and we see that this gives us y equals 1. So when x is 1, y is also equal to 1. And that gives us the ordered pair 1, 1. Okay, one more. We plug in positive 2 for x and we simplify and we see that this gives us negative 2. So when x is positive 2, y is negative 2 and that gives us our last ordered pair. Okay, so now we're ready to plot these points on a rectangular coordinate system. So negative 2, 10, go left 2 and up 10. Negative 1, 7 would be left 1 and up 7. 0, 4 is going to be right there on the y-axis because we're not going to go left or right. We're just going to stay in the center and then go up 4. And then 1, 1, we'd go right 1 and up 1. And then our last point, we would go right 2 and down 2. And see how those are all nicely lining up in a straight line? This is the way your graph should look as long as you didn't make any calculation errors. They should all be lining up in its uh, exactly straight line. So now that we have our plots pointed, we can simply take a straight edge, draw a line through those points. It's always good to extend your line to the edges of the grid and put arrowheads on the ends because th this line does go forever on both ends. And there's the equation, or the graph of the equation, y equals negative 3x plus 4. Okay, have fun graphing lines. We'll see you later.